connection. This week, Martin Lewis has been digging up the dirt on the latest Hollywood tourist attraction. Yes, it's called Graveline Tours, and it visits the stars' homes down under, six foot deep. Good morning, Anne and Nick. As this discreet sign behind me suggests, I'm here in Hollywood. Talk of the town this week is this new book by Marlon Brando. It's his autobiography, which is full of interesting stories. They very wisely didn't include his diet plan. But there's a bit of an interesting rumour going around. Apparently, he had a discussion with his publishers about whether he'd do any interviews to promote the book, and he said he'd only do it if he could interview himself. The Godfather has apparently made himself an offer he can't refuse. <laughs> This may look like an ordinary video game to you, but it's actually the latest thing here in America. It combines the fantasy of a video game with the reality of a drive-by shooting. See, I'm wearing on my back this thing called the Aura Interactor. It's a, sort of a bit like a, a bulletproof vest, and it works in the reverse. Every time I'm shot on the screen, I feel this bullet sensation in my back. Um, it's apparently it's coming out at Christmas in Britain. Um, I love it because it's giving me the same sort of feeling as a shiatsu massage, but without any of the embarrassment of taking my clothes off. Normally, when a hearse goes by, there are lots of living people on the outside, all straining to get a glimpse of the dead person inside. But with this hearse, it's the reverse. But this is the ultimate in the macabre. This is the Graveline tour of Hollywood. Two and a half hours of prime celebrity murder, funeral, and suicide spots. I wasn't actually planning to get into one of these for another 30, 40 years. OK, Undertaker, take it away. That restaurant is where James Dean had his last supper the night before he died in 1955. Your undertaker knows all the skeletons in the closet and where all the bodies are buried. Now, what's that over there, that hotel? Well, that actually, that's the hotel where John Belushi overdosed in 1983. It's the Chateau Marmont, and that's pretty much what put it on the map, although it's been there for many years. In fact, uh, there's a line up to get his room. <laughs> now, what's that over there? That is uh, the Viper Room, where River Phoenix hit the pavement last Halloween. It's actually owned by Johnny Depp, and uh, he collapsed just to the right of that black awning that you see over there, and uh, was oh. taken to Cedar sinai Hospital, where he died. Judging by this, death seems to be big business in Hollywood. So who's the ghoul behind this scheme? Nothing qualified me to run a tour, but I was a paramedic, and then I went to funeral school, and then I just started hanging out in cemeteries, and I, I'm kind of a research freak, so I kind of invented my own little tour for, for myself, and then when friends would come out to visit from the Midwest, I'd take them on my own sick little tour. You know, I wanted to see, like, where uh, Marilyn bought that last prescription and where Superman blew his brains out, and where Annie M pulled the cleaning bag over her head. That, that was the kind of stuff I wanted to see. As a dead person, what qualifies you to be an attraction on the tour? My only stipulation is, is that it not be boring. Um, and we have political figures, we have sports figures, we have mainly entertainers. Uh, and I try to give them a five-year cooling off period after they die. We try not to, you know, step on people's feelings. Well, I was finding it rather morbid. Not so the other mourners. We love death. <laughs> We're in the business. <laughs> what do you do in the business? Work in a cemetery. There's good bad taste and there's bad bad taste. You know, like a, wearing white belt and white shoes is bad bad taste. This is good bad taste. And there's only two things certain in life, death and taxes, and nobody wants to see where the stars paid their taxes, so. I guess not. Well, in Hollywood, death is the ultimate bottom line. More tales from Hollywood next week. Martin, thanks very much indeed.